Vietnam is f***ing mental, mate. So what happens when you pop two Welsh people in a country on a pair of motorbikes and set them free? What could possibly go wrong? Someone just driven off my bike. This is a death trap. Holy! <laughs> <laughs> happening guys we're Craig and Amy and you are watching King and It and we have made it to Vietnam and our mission is to get ourselves some bikes and travel the whole country starting with the north the plan is to set off from Hanoi and head towards the beautiful mountains in the north around the Hajang loop and then make our way down towards the coast and finally completing the 1500 odd miles all the way to Ho Chi Minh City if you're new around here, let's give you a quick background on King In It. Our favorite thing on planet Earth is seeing a country in its undiluted form. In the past, we've traveled the length of India in a rickshaw. India, baby! We've driven across the planet on the Mongol Rally in a camouflage banger of a car through Iran, all of the stands, and over the Pamir Highway. Oh, oh, oh. oh my God! What a day, guys! What a day! We've driven the length of New Zealand. We've even driven our bus custard all the way to the Sahara Desert in Morocco. Our mantra is rule your own world. So we always go out there and live our lives to the fullest and give you an unclouded version of wherever we're traveling. For this adventure, we're going to be taking on one of our biggest challenges to date. Driving the length of Vietnam. On motorbikes. This is gonna be one heck of a personal challenge. Uh, I usually rely on Craig to take me places, but this time I'm actually getting my own motorbike. I just hope my anxiety lets me and that we don't fall off. Joining us on this trip are our good friends Chloe and James. James and Chloe are on the opposite end of the scale on the excitement meter. James, what's your thoughts on this adventure? Car waits. <laughs> We're going to delve deep into the culture, into the country. It's going to be amazing. I think I'm going to get my own bike, yeah. I'm excited, I'm nervous, yeah. but yeah. The last time we were all together, we were stuck in Morocco with our camper vans, and the only way to get them out was to ship them out and then fly out ourselves. That went pretty well, didn't it? No. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. James, James, stop. No. It's not going to work. It's ridiculous. So as a team, we got a pretty shoddy record. So wish us luck. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna go and get ourselves some sturdy steeds. Today's the day, Trev. How are you feeling? Ill. Why? <sighs> up to anxiety. It just pops his ugly head up when it wants to and I'm feeling rather sick about today. As you get older, you don't, you get more comfortable. You don't do as many things outside of your comfort zone. So we always try and push ourselves and today is a big push. I am excited for today. We're about to jump in a taxi to go meet the guys. We're gonna go to a motorbike spot, take our bags, keep our fingers crossed, and hopefully we can get bikes and get on the road today. Here we go. Out into the oven. I was way too excited for this, but I think Amy knew deep down how much of a mission this was gonna be. This is a huge challenge for anyone who is new to riding motorbikes. It was around 415 degrees, and with fresh jet lag and a steamed up camera, we headed out into the unknown. Please, baby Jesus, make this a good day. Hang on, let me turn my aircon on. <laughs> it's so sweaty, man. Uh, we've only been here one day, so we haven't had a chance to like acclimatize yet. Hopefully, when we get on the bikes, the faster you go, the cooler you stay. <laughs> 
We paid the man the equivalent of a pack of Percy Pigs and asked the first motorbike shop we saw, you got any motorbikes for us mate? I've got Big Dong. The crew was pumped. We met a great guy called Johnny who sat us down and took us through everything we needed to know about buying a bike, renting a bike, how much it was gonna cost us and how to keep our wits about us on the road. He also took us through the map and showed us some brilliant places to stop off that we just had to add to our itinerary. And then this silly sausage walked into the shop all bandaged up. Which put Amy right at ease. Okay, so Johnny has given us a bit of a route. He's told us the prices and there's a warehouse five minutes away in a taxi. So we're gonna go over to the warehouse, test out some bikes, get some helmets and some gloves, and then we're gonna get on the road. With the heaviest bags known to man, we were on our way to sudden death. I'm only joking, we were just going to the bike shop. <laughs> I've just got visions of me going over that bridge. <laughs> just how warm it is, you get out of the taxi with the aircon and your glasses are steaming up. So uh, which one do you want? That James the boys up. Give her a little rip, kid. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the guys at Style Motorbikes were class. We spent around an hour testing out different bikes, seeing what felt right, what engine size we wanted, and which ones we thought would stand the test of time. All the 1500 miles to Ho Chi Minh. What's your name, sorry? My name is Kung. Kung. Kung, yes. Nice to meet you, Craig. I'm Craig. The usual choice of motorbike for anyone wanting to take on the country is a Honda Win. I say Honda, and they say Honda, but it's not a Honda. It's a cheapo Chinese knockoff, it's called a D-Tech, that's been ridden by hundreds of backpackers and budding bikers for bloody centuries. Dusty as f mate. I think we're all gonna get our separate bikes. Chloe's gonna give it a go, she's never driven a motorbike before, but we're gonna give her a couple of lessons. I also need some refresher lessons because it was a while ago that I did it. We've got a bike at home. How many times have I been on it? once and i've never been on the road so this is a little bit scary and with the heat and the jet lag i just feel so disorientated i'm i'm hoping that i can pick it up really easily it's 180 for the month to rent um, and i think around 400 to buy which is really good i'm looking forward to getting on it but i'm also really not so pray for me Did you not see that? No. I was literally sliding down the road then, trying not to come off. Why? Oh my God. I pulled the clutch in and, and tapped the brake and it just started sliding everywhere. Oh shit, Craig, this doesn't fill me with confidence. Well, this is because it's the Su Suzuki, I think. All right, everyone's ridden a bike apart from me and I'm my pants. Oh, maybe we shouldn't film this. Oh, hot. Oh, easy, easy. Nice and slow, babe. She's got it. Like riding a bike, even though I nearly came off. Oh, they're mad here though. No helmets, they just put the key in and go take it for a spin. Unbelievable. Look at some of the bikes they got as well. Look at this bad boy. Look at that. Go on, babes. Oh, I don't know if I like it. Why? This is, I don't know, it feels a lot, it's either a lot looser than the one we've got at home or a lot quicker. But we've got 125 and this is a 110. Yeah. I just feel like this, this pulls me more. So just It'd be easy on the clutch on and off. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How's it feeling, Chloe? It feels alright, yeah. yeah. I feel okay on, like, obviously on this road. I'm just talking about these roads. I know. <laughs> How's that one? Yeah, it's alright. Yeah. <laughs> They're so loud, though. Yeah. Like, yeah. The, ex the exhaust is yeah. so loud. At least people will hear us coming, I suppose. How are you feeling about these bikes, mate? Can you do like the Sam, Can't yeah. wait. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're going to be. I mean, these guys feel they know what they're doing, don't they? And yeah. I feel like they're quite reliable. So. Um, we got a bit of a problem with uh, James's bike. Uh, Alright, oh, I hate it, but I think that this is the one for me. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, 110. A 110 D-Tech for the boy. Big head. Big large head. We spent the next half an hour finding the right helmet to fit our very large heads. <laughs> James got massive heads. It's not that big. Helmets were around £45 brand new, but you can rent them for cheaper. But we thought that we'd be on the safe side. You look like a little bobble end. Right. <laughs> sure, it fits. <laughs> What's that? Sunshine. This is the most. <laughs> <gasps> Happy! 
Look, hi! Oh. Oh, How are you doing? You must be boiling. Small. Ah, wrap up. Ah, 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 ah. Kill it, kill it, dog. Kill it. <laughs> All right, so I've got myself a DTEC win. 110cc for $180 rental for the month. Um, it does say here it's a Vietnamese made copy of Honda, thus, they are more prone to issues even on the new bikes. So that's really cool. We signed our lives away, hopefully, not literally. Sorry, mum. And set up our helmets with our new Cardocom system so that we could all chat to each other while we drove on the roads. All right, it's 20 past three. We should have been on the roads hours ago. We haven't strapped the bags to the bikes yet, that's the last job. But we're all starving and probably massively dehydrated. Did I mention it's really hot? So we're gonna go and get some fried rice now and then get on the road. Sunset at 20 to seven, so we've literally got about three hours and the drive is about three hours. But we don't wanna drive in the dark. Just as our food arrived, the heavens opened. It rained, and it rained full-on golf ball-sized raindrops, and it rained some more. And we started to think, what on earth are we doing? The rain stopped. <laughs> Well, at least you know the torrential rainstorms won't last that long, and I've already had practice in them, which I loved anyway. Good, just remember drive the bike to stop. I'm gonna put some Christmas songs on. It's gonna be fine. I'm boiling, quick. Like, I'm, there's no point in bringing makeup on this trip. I've got no wigs. I'm filthy because I was playing with a dog and she kept jumping on me. We're gonna stink, and it's gonna be one of those trips where we don't care. Tiny little puppy, tiny little puppy. We were given a ton of bungee cords and luckily our bikes already came with bike racks. But if you choose one that doesn't, they can weld one on for you in no time. Johnny, where's the fuel gauge on this? Where's the fuel gauge? There's no fuel gauge. <laughs> we ready team? Okay, let's go. It's our time guys, we're leaving. Oh. Okay. Right, come on, you know how to drive it. Okay, doing this for everybody that's got anxiety that wants to try and beat it. Ooh, it's a quick start. Okay, thank you, see you. Let's go see Vietnam, baby. All the grub. All right, we're off, we're off. Oh, that breeze is amazing. Oh, but it has been raining, so I'm a little bit nervous of the wet floor. <sighs> What's Captain B doing? You all right? I don't know! <laughs> You'll be all right. I think so, I think so. Just need some practice. Oh, no, I've stalled. Do you just go nice and slow, Craig, yeah? No, we're on the road. We're doing it, lads. We're doing it. Hope Captain B's all right. Oh, Jesus Christ. Down to first. Let's just chill. OK. I think we're only going to do about an hour today. We left very late. We're very slow packers. Uh, it's like five o'clock. But yeah, we're going to do about an hour. Uh, find somewhere to sleep. And then fingers crossed, I won't dream about this or have nightmares about having to do a big drive in the morning. I think as soon as we get going, I'm going to have so much fun. I know there's so many of you out there that are just screaming at me like, you're gonna have the best time ever. I wish I was doing this. So yeah, I'm doing it for you guys as well. I'm not sure if I can do it, Craig. Don't panic, it's fine. I can't get up this hill. You've got a foot break. I, get, I can't do a hill, a hill start. <laughs> no, I can't do that. Okay, everyone can just wait. Also, this helmet is fucking massive. We're on the highway, so no dramas. Amy's freaking out a little bit, but you'll be all right. Amy, if you're watching this, Super proud of you. I know this is way far out of your comfort zone, but you're doing it, kid. You're an absolute champion. Gasoline? Petrol? Ah, okay. I feel like my head's gonna explode with this helmet on. It's nearly dark. 
It's taken us 45 minutes to find petrol. Okay. in? Yeah. Uh, we made a group decision. We, we didn't get very far, so we're going to get a hotel. <laughs> we had a little taste of though, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy. Come to be an army day. Come in here. Jimmy. Jimmy. Jimmy, get in here, kid. You did well, babes. I mean, I didn't die, if that's what you mean. But um, other people nearly did. <laughs> uh, honestly, God, they drive. So they just pull out. They don't give a shit if they're going to get run over by somebody else or not. I do feel like I'll end up killing someone on the strip. All right, so we're calling it. We're calling it. <laughs> that was a throw you in the deep end hour. It must be rush hour because that's madness. Yeah, man. Literally had like three noodles and two pieces of papaya today. So hangar, busy traffic and driving in the night is a bad idea. So we found a little gap called the Lucky Buddha Hotel. Okay. Yes. Ah, okay, perfect. Hey. Guys, there's this one. Morning team, still in Hanoi. Uh, still at 5,400 degrees Celsius. <laughs> so we popped back to the shop this morning because my bike uh, kept cutting out. So uh, it was literally 10 minutes down the road. Yeah, we <laughs> so didn't get very we got, far. We just did a big loop of the city trying to find petrol. We saw Johnny today and he said that he thinks we should head up to Hazang this morning, which is a six hour drive. But we're gonna just see how we go, no pressure. I feel a little bit better now we've done a bit, you know? And we've probably done the scariest bit, like being in the city. So I just know that coming out now, a lot of people have said that these next few days have been the best of their whole trip, which yeah. makes me really excited. Um, and I'm really, really excited for like big stretches of wide, wide road with mm. not a lot of people on them. I just think it's going to be sensational. But yeah, the guy in the in the hotel last uh, this morning, he said, "You go to Hazang today, it's going to rain. It's no good for you." It's no good for and you. I was like, "Sweet, thanks, Jimmy." So it's either we take our time and miss our flight home, <laughs> or we balls to the wall. Okay, let's get some breakfast too. Oh, 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 there's the rain. And I left my poncho at the garage. It was a much cooler day today though, thank God. You know, when you do like your hazard protection for your driving tests and things come out of nowhere, every single second that's happening. So you have to be on the ball, focus completely. Fake breakfast spot. The old fakeroo. <laughs> you have to be really careful about where you choose to eat. Because uh, some of them just don't exist and a lot of them don't exist. So they're supposed to be there. I think. Yeah. You turning around or? Yeah, I just have a quick look. found ourselves on the Vietnamese motorway which you think would be super scary but it's actually okay because we've got our own lane. I just plugged in a random bridge which is like an hour and ten minutes um, but Hazang is six hours. So it's um, 1.49 p.m. and uh, nobody's had breakfast yet so as soon as we hit any kind of restaurant we're just going to start pull over and have some food. Sorry. No indication, classic. Maybe we should all do a tally on our bikes, how many times we nearly died. I think Craig, I think Craig might be winners in a minute. <laughs> yeah. Alright, we've just pulled in off the motorway, we found a spot that does fried rice, tofu and vegetables. Get in! So we're going to get a proper meal today, which is class. It does feel badass, like all of us on the bikes. One of the game-changing things that we've got 
is Cardo has ho have hooked us up with these headsets. So we've got communications between all four of us. So they're attached to the side of our helmets and we can literally all just talk. It's amazing. Because otherwise, if you're just driving for so long, like hours and hours on your own, you're only doing hand signals with people and you don't know what's going on. So we're able to say like, watch out, there's a car coming or there's a roundabout coming up or whatever. It is literally a game changer. So if you're gonna do this trip and you're gonna do it with a friend, get yourself some comms. This car though, we've got the Pack Talk Edge. It is next level. Thanks for the hookup guys, appreciate it. Chloe's ordered some venomous tea. <laughs> what do you mean venomous? Well, James thought she said venomous, but she actually said Vietnamese. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> but she said it's quite bitter. And um, she wouldn't give us any sugar. Yeah, she said don't have sugar, so. <laughs> <You're> right, <mate. laughs> Looks pretty decent. And then chips. Yeah, chips. Chips as well, mate. It tastes like homemade. Chips for breakfast. Yeah. We've got some um, tofu with stingy nettles. <laughs> Four bellies, we've had tofu. Oi! Here we go. Okay, we've got a hundred kilometers to go. And then we'll be halfway to Hajan. Where's James? <laughs> we've got our first breakdown of the trip. We lost James. Oh no! Hopefully it's an easy fix. We called Johnny from Style Motors for some advice. Um, we got a bit of a problem with uh, James's bike. It's like cutting out, similar to what mine was doing. Bloody hell, James. <laughs> Just spoke to a mechanic who spoke to a local who told us that there's a mechanic 100 meters down the road. So we're gonna go and see them, see if we can sort James's bike. He put us in touch with a local mechanic that took James and his bike to his garage 100 metres down the road. Results! Hi, so James has gone to a mechanic's in a little estate around the corner. <laughs> so we're all just at this little pull-in. People eating sweet corn and eggs, smoking bongs. I'm pretty sure that guy's smoking a bong bong. <laughs> so we're just going to hang about now until he comes back. Jimmy, how are we doing? Oh, can we not? <laughs> Let's not do that. <laughs> He swapped the spark plug. Oh, okay, nice. Oh, it's a spark plug. Oh, it's a spark plug. I could have done that, mate. Running better? Feels more all right. The gears are changing better. Paid him 100. Oh, nice. Double. So, yeah, three quid. Happy days. All these things you don't factor in, which is like the bike's breaking down. <laughs> you get on the road and you're like, yay, and then the bright bike breaks down. And you're like, oh, yeah, we're on untrustworthy motorbikes. <laughs> this is all the boaters on this trip, though. Cameramen. Another buffalo crossing. Scoozy lads! <laughs> How's it going, champ? It's going alright. My hand is killing. My head is killing. I think because it's a new helmet, it's really tight, so it's hurting my ears a lot. My back so, my bum so, like, and we've only done about 0.2 part of the country. Quick petrol stop. Scenes around here, they just keep getting better and better. We're coming into the mountains now. There's rice paddies, there's water buffaloes. This is what I was hoping from Vietnam, and it has not disappointed. <laughs> Holy let's look at those mountains. Absolute scenes. We're not even in the best bit yet either and it just looks incredible. After driving around five hours, the sun was going down and we were all getting very tired. This was when everything started to go wrong. Chloe and her bike almost ended up in the river. I'll get away. Oh my god, I lost the GoPro right there. I'm gonna run over it. Did 
Yeah. You're right. I was gonna go with it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, 800 dollars, 800 dollars. <laughs> oh shit, the bears. So Chloe nearly uh, lost the bike in the river and herself. <laughs> Like, I must have been pressing go, and I thought that I was just holding on. <laughs> We're like, let go, let go, let go! So always one. <laughs> I'm tired, it's been a long day. <laughs> First battle wounds. Nice socks as well, they're oh, nice socks. Oh, not the socks, mate. Nike ones. All right, we've decided we've had enough. We've just bought a hotel just by there, so we're going to go see if we've got any rooms. Yeah, yeah. fingers crossed. <laughs> this is a proper adventure now. We're not even using the internet for hotels. Are you going to be all right getting over there, Chloe? Or do you want to get a taxi? Oh, I, could, I would get a taxi. <laughs> we rocked up to the Fuang Dong Hotel, where they had just freshly washed down their patio. Hey. <laughs> Amy just crashed her bike into the floor. It's going well. It's definitely time to stop. So Amy's crashed her bike into the floor. I just burned my leg and Chloe's cut her leg all in the space of about 10 minutes. <laughs> it's cool in a day. Okay, hotel doesn't have a name, but it's got an ice rink for a floor. They must have just washed it all down because when we all came in, it was like Bambi on ice and obviously I took a tumble. Is that say the name of it? There we go. Pyongdong Hotel. Um, How much is a hundred? A hundred is about three, three pounds. Six pounds a night. Six pounds a night. Oh, oh, that's really nice, actually. And then there, let's keep the bikes inside. Well. Yeah, we're moving all bikes inside. Not that I've got any qualms with them being stolen, but we rented them, so just in case. We haven't even paid for the rooms yet. We walked in. She gave me a room key, an aircon. Uh, remote control and a TV remote control, so I guess we're staying. Yeah. Oh, what a day, kid. Yeah. Oh. You are a flipping champion. Yeah. <laughs> Well done, babe. So well good. Well done to you too, babes. Sometimes you come across gems. So we found this one. It is six quid a night. Ensuite bathroom, air conditioning, double bed. Amy's after the mosquitoes. This is the problem with being in a tropical place now. Oh. Stop back, sir. He's huge. I've lost him. What's the view like? Well, it's dark, isn't it? Oh wow! Wow, look at that! Aim. Really? Holy smokes! <laughs> Holy smokes! Are we? How do you open them? That was like. <gasps> wow! Look at that view. Oh my God. Six quid, mate? You joking? Quickly, we're gonna get it. <laughs> How good is that? Oh, that's amazing. That looks. That's Have you seen this view, mate? I've seen the view, yeah. We've yeah. yeah. got the view of the bloody air conditioners. <laughs> <laughs> Two problems. First problem is we've just ordered food through Google Translate. She didn't seem very confident in what she was about to cook. Um, second problem is we've just got on the bed. It's hard as rock, babe. Honest to God. <laughs> like. <laughs> Because we got a cheap spot last night, it was quite, it, the bed was quite hard then. And I was like, oh, I can't wait for like tonight's sleep because it's going to be better. It's not. And this is our blanket. This is our duvet. <laughs> Good for the back though. You need some after sew on those shoulders, kid. I need a different boyfriend in a different life. <laughs> oh, take it back. <laughs> Privacy in this hotel is next level. Next time on King in It, we finally make our way towards the remote, far northern region of Hazhang, with its incredible, luscious green mountains, rivers, and winding roads. I am loving life. I am loving life. But Amy finds herself in a bit of a predicament. Like the pressure that it's had on my body now, it's sore, and that's what I'm not enjoying mainly. Yeah. I feel like I'll be letting myself down. We're gonna have a change of plans with the, the vehicle setup. Oh, look at this.